is the difference between a ballad song and an up-tempo song? Have you ever gone into a musical theater audition and you're like, what the heck is the difference between the two? Does it even matter what song I bring in? Why can't I just bring in any song I want? There's a reason for that. If you bring in any song you want, you might not be bringing in a song that they are asking for. It might be the wrong type of show. It might be the wrong type of vocal style. So understanding what type of song you need to bring into an audition really matters. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what the difference is. I'm gonna show you some examples of what casting calls would ask for in terms of which songs to bring in. And then I'm gonna show you some singing examples so that you know what it sounds like when you are searching for these songs. So let's talk about an example of what a casting call would look like. Example number one, they might say, please prepare a ballad and an up-tempo song. That's it, that's all they say. So what you need to do is bring in one ballad and one up-tempo song. Example number two is, please bring in two contrasting songs. So with that information, I suggest you bring in one ballad song and one up-tempo song. You don't wanna bring in two up-tempo songs or two ballad songs because they're pretty much very similar in terms of style and acting as well. And I will explain more about that later in the video. But when they are asking for two contrasting songs, they want to see what you can do and if you can switch things up. So if you bring in one ballad and one up tempo, you're going to make sure that you do have something different from each other. Example number three sounds like this. Prepare a 16 bar cut of an up tempo musical theater song in the style of the show. So, that example has a little bit more information, and usually casting calls would sound like that. They really want you to bring in a 16 bar cut, which means it's around 30 to 45 seconds, and you gotta make sure it's a musical theater song, not a Disney song, not a pop song, a musical theater song, and an up tempo song. So, not a ballad, bring in an up tempo song. And when they say in the style of the show, they wanna make sure you bring in something that is very similar to what they are auditioning for. If you are going for a golden age musical, you don't want to bring in something more contemporary and vice versa. Now let's talk about the difference between a ballad song and an up-tempo song. A ballad is a slower paced song that is usually more emotionally driven. So what that means is this song is more about like love or heartbreak or something traumatic in a family situation. And you know that this is a ballad if you need to sing longer notes and longer phrases. I'm gonna list off some examples that are ballad songs for both female and male. So for females, we have So In Love from Kiss Me Kate, Hopelessly Devoted to You from Greece, No One Else from The Great Comet, Will He Like Me from She Loves Me, and Someone Like You from Jekyll and Hyde. Here are the examples for males. Santa Fe from Newsies, Maria from West Side Story, if I Can't Love Her from Beauty and the Beast, Her Voice from The Little Mermaid, and Bring Him Home from Les Miserables. An up-tempo song is a faster paced song that is usually more comedy driven and it's just quicker in general. So you'll know what it sounds like when it sounds jolly or exuberant or bouncy. So very different from a slow song, right? An up-tempo song is just upbeat. Some examples for the female singers are Always True to You, Darling in My Fashion from Kiss Me Kate. It's a Perfect Relationship from Bells Are Ringing. A Wonderful Guy from South Pacific. Look at Me Now from Wild Party. And Pulled from The Addams Family. Some examples for the male are The Kite from You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. What Do I Need with Love from Thoroughly Modern Millie. Tonight at 8 from She Loves Me. Goodbye from Catch Me If You Can. And Don't Let Me Go from Shrek. Now I'm gonna show you some singing so that you know the difference by just listening to it. Even without you, my arms fold about you. When I'm with a pistol, I sparkle like a crystal. Yes, I shine like the morning sun. But I lose all my luster when with a bronco buster. Oh, you can't get a man with a gun. 
if you want to get started in musical theater or if you have already started in musical theater but you're having a hard time just getting callbacks in general therefore booking any shows then make sure you download my free audition prep checklist where I talk about what you need to do weeks before an audition what to do the day before an audition and what you need to do the day of an audition and then once you're on my mailing list I'm gonna send you more materials just like that like how to take headshots how to create resumes and how to sing better for auditions so I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about musical theater auditions I really want you to succeed and make a living out of this career because it's totally possible you just need to know what to do and what not to do and be a little bit more prepared so that you are seen as someone more serious and more professional that's all for now and I'll see you next time